Hey you guys, it is Friday newsletter time. So we're going to do something a little bit different, kind of something um, akin to what we did a year ago or about a year ago. My grandson Eric is going to make a sign and I'm going to kind of walk him through that. And we've gotten feedback in the past that you guys really kind of liked that thing. So Eric's carved, uh, how many signs have you carved? Uh, about three or four. About three or four signs. So he's brand new to it. This is going to be different than anything he's done before. So what he, he wants a sign for his room. And this is, I don't know, what is this, Eric? This is Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Some of you kids might know it because it's pretty popular right now. What is is that a video game? Yeah, or? it's a video game. Okay. And there are chapters. Third one's in process right now. Okay, good. Yeah. That's more information than yeah. probably anybody <laughs> wants bad. to know. That's okay. But that's all right. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use this character, and it's kind of cut off here, but we're not, we're gonna, we've are we got a uh, printout. We're going to do the transfer. And we're not going to have Bendy on there. It's going to say, what, Eric's room at the top? Yeah. And then keep, keep out. out on the bottom. Right. So And we're going to use a piece of pine. This is a piece of uh, just, I think it's about 21 inches. And we've already actually already kind of started the process on this because we're going to do the, the transfer with the, um, with the lacquer thinner. And um, although I'm going to use acetone, but I'll show you that. But in order to do that, uh, you know, all of my boards, I start by putting sanding sealer on them. But that transfer process, I don't like the sanding sealer on there. So I went ahead and sanded it, uh, sanded it down. Or actually, Eric sanded it down. And uh, we're going to do the transfer right in the center here. And then we're going to have letters on the top and the bottom. So we'll be right back and start the layout process. All right, so now we're going to transfer that image. We've got a black and white image. Babe, if you want to pan down here. We've got a black and white image that we uh, printed out with a laser printer. And this time uh, I was playing around the other day and I found out that acetone works just as good as the, uh, the lacquer thinner. And somebody had mentioned that, um, two or three people had mentioned that as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little acetone on this a paper towel. You want to see how you helped Eric measure it out and stuff? Oh yeah, before we do that. So what we did was we centered this. We're going to have, you know, Eric's room on the top and then keep out on the bottom. We're going to use two inch letters. So we centered that top to bottom um, and then left to right because there's not going to be anything. So it's on the sides. So it's going to be centered right in the middle of the board. I showed Eric mm -hmm. how to do it. But for time constraints, we just wanted to kind of, I went ahead and put it on there, but I showed Eric how to do that. So um, so now it's taped down on the top, so it will flip up, flip down, and now we'll transfer it on there with that acetone. Thank you for reminding me on that, babe. So I'm just going to put some acetone on there. You're going to get some on your hands, but it's no big deal. That's maybe a little too much. All right, so wipe it on there. Wow. Now hold it down. Hold it down that corner so it doesn't move on you. Yeah, I might have put a little too much on there. All right, so let me have that. So when you squeegee it with the squeegee, nice and careful from the top down. There. It looks like it's wanting to smear it all. No. Not, not so far. There you go. Just keep doing that. That should, that should give us a pretty good trans... You can already see it's starting to dry out, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That should give us a pretty good transfer. I hope. <laughs> That's all we can do is hope. All right, so let's see what it looks like. Go ahead and flip that thing up. Not too bad. I, you know, I think we could put it a little bit better. So let's do this. Let's put it down mm -hmm. and let's hold it there. And let's, we still got some acetone on here, so let's just do the process all over again. So you can rub a little bit more. Make sure that that paper doesn't buckle on you because it, then it'll shift that image. Right. All right, now use a squeegee and then go a little bit harder with that. Uh, Let's see what it looks like. I think that would be good enough for us to carve. That's a little better than it was before. All right, so we'll be right back and we'll uh, get the letters laid out on here. 
Okay, so here's what we got, Eric. We got the same amount of space up here mm -hmm. as we got down here. Now you, we've already talked about this, and you want these letters inset, so we don't have to worry about a lot of room around the letters for to put a background. Right. So the main thing that you want to remember when you're doing when you're doing a layout like this is you want the same space here at the top of the board and the bottom of the board. Okay. So what I would do, and and th a square is the the most perfect way to do it. Um, it's a little bit more time consuming. So we've kind of talked about it and you kind of liked that spacing at the top and the yeah. bottom. So go ahead and make your marks. Uh, let's grab a pencil. Yeah, the pencil will work. So make your marks uh, on the four corners where you want to draw those lines. I'll get you a straight edge. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. We'll adjust for that when we use a straight edge. Go ahead. Okay. Keep going. Good. One over here, one down there. All right, and then one down there. Good. So, it, it you know, it, it's only off just a little bit. I'll go ahead and draw these. Mm -hmm. Or actually, I'll draw one. And I'll let you draw the other. Okay. So now, the, now the cool thing is we're using all two inch letters. If you were using inch and a half and two inch letters up here, then you would have to draw your line at the bottom because they wouldn't all be equal at the top. But in this particular instance, you can just draw that top line and, and you'll be fine. So mm -hmm. just draw that line. Now put your hand, you want your hand in the center. Oops, I moved it for you. You want your hand in the center so it doesn't move on, on either end. That's all right. You're not going to go down that far. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way to the end. Ah, see what I mean? So that's, yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Here, let me show you, Eric. So that's why when you saw me do this down here, you saw I put my hand here and ah. I kind of spread that out and I put pressure on that. But that's okay. We can fix that. So when you do that, you just got to make sure that that thing's going to want, once you put pressure on it, it's going to want to swing on you. So try and get a nice wide base on there with pressure on it so you keep that in one place. That's okay. all right. I've done that thousands of times. No big deal. That little line there is not going to make any difference at all. Okay. All right. So we're going to set the letters up here. We'll be right back and we'll get it sprayed. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to do the top line and I'm going to let Eric do the bottom line. So Eric, when I'm doing this, first thing I have to take into account is these are inset letters, so I can have them almost right next to each other because I don't have to put a, a cloud around them. Right. So that's one thing. The second thing is we've got an apostrophe up there. We're just going to leave a space for an apostrophe. The third thing is to make sure that we're the same from both ends. So I'm just going to make a mark at two inches from each end. And then I'm just going to kind of roughly eyeball it from there. Now, when you're putting these letters on here, you really want to... Oh, the other thing was the orientation of the letter. That's why we have our printout here. Because these uh, fatty font are a little goofy in the fact that it's really easy to get them mixed up and get them upside down. So I always try, until I really learn this font, I always try to have an orientation sheet in front of me. And these are the ones that come with the, um, the starter sets. So if you guys don't have one of these and you're using these fatty font or whatever font that you're using and you don't have uh, and you're not used to the way they look, I strongly suggest print out something of the font, whether it's a Clarendon font or I don't care what font it is, print out something, uh, some kind of layout of the way the letters are supposed to look. Because you don't want to get your sign all done and then realize you've got one upside down. Okay? So there's, that's what I've decided to do is two inches and I've got oh, a little over two fingers width in between the words. So that's going to be the top line. Now, Eric, what I want you to do is you're going to do the bottom line. So the letters are all there. So I want you to kind of, the letters look like they're all oriented, oriented right. So now just take your tape measure and basically do what I did there. But I think two inches is going to be too wide apart. I think you're going to be somewhere around three inches. Okay. So I'm, I'm just guessing right now. So make a mark at three inches, just anywhere in the three inch range. 
and then from the other end try to not bump the board too much because that top line is ready to spray already okay okay so now lay out you the lay out the K and then the exclamation point on the other end and let's see what our spacing looks like I think we're still going to be too far apart but go ahead and, and keep going I don't think that would be too bad, but I would pull them in a little bit from the from the three inches. I would go in, just eyeball it. Go in, now go in this far from the other end with your exclamation point, and then work out to the middle. So now bring out the T O T U O this way. Oops. Might be a little bit too close together. Now, that's not too bad. That's not bad. Now, the other thing is, see your E's? Mm -hmm. It looks to me like this one is not quite square. Remember, you want the those those legs right. to be straight mm -hmm. up and down. Not quite square. So it's again, it's something that I've done over and over, done most of my life. So it's easy for me to see that. But that doesn't look bad. So now we're gonna mask off our image in the front or in the middle to make sure that we don't uh, we don't spray that and then we'll, we'll just get this done and we'll come back and spray these layout letters okay for the layout we're going to go ahead and use the ink the reason I'm going to use the ink I could have used the the primer but the ink comes out a little bit better it doesn't come out near as fast as the primer does the Rust-Oleum primer uh, and being as Eric is not really uh, familiar with the, the spray cans yet, uh, like I am, um, it's a little bit easier with the, the ink. It doesn't come out near as fast and not likely to blow the letters around. So, Eric, there's the ink. Go for it. So remember, what's, what's our rules? Keep it moving, not too close, not too heavy. That's the cardinal rules. <laughs> That's it, man. And don't spray your grandpa. That's the fourth one. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta keep it right over the top, remember? Here, let me let me show you. Okay. Let me do just a, I'll just do this right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So you've got to if you don't keep it over the top, if you if you spray it from here, then what happens? Blows? No, doesn't blow. Oh, it doesn't get the top. It won't line. yeah, it won't get the top of the letters. Right. That's exactly right. So you've got to keep it over the top of the letters. And then always kind of just test it. When you're first starting out and say, okay, that feels about right. And this, this nozzle is going to kind of mess up on us. So after it doesn't spray, then we have to kind of clear it a little bit, get it flowing. I'm sorry I grabbed the can out of That's your hand. Fine. Just, all right? So okay. you see how I did that? Just yeah. nice little tiny short spurts. Kind of get the feeling of it. It's hard for me to hold my tongue. Up a little bit more. Not bad. Not bad. Good. Stop. Okay. Because see, this is the pine. This stuff will this stuff will uh, bleed on you if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and spurt that up, up high. higher. Higher. There. there Good. Go. There. All right. Now do the bottom line. There you go. Good. Nice touch. Keep it moving. And I know you. a lot of you guys, up at the top, you're getting a little too heavy there. I just graze those top ones. That's good. That'll be good enough. Now the keep. I know a lot of you guys have trouble with the spray cans too. And I, I probably make it look a lot easier just because I've been doing it for 40-something years. Get the top of the letters. That's good. That's all you need. That's it. That's, that's going to be enough. So now we'll we'll turn this wet that on the paper. We'll turn this upside down and clear the nozzle. You guys have seen me do that before. So what you do is you turn it upside down and you spray for a few seconds till it comes out almost clear. That's not bad. That's going to give you a good line. You were a little heavy in a couple spots, but all in all, Eric, good job. That wasn't bad at all. All right. So we'll uh, we'll come back and get to carving. Okay, so we've got the layout done. 
Now we've got a couple more little steps that we've got to do before we can fire up the router and carve. So Eric, what we're going to do is we want to make sure that our router base plate does not stick on there. And if you feel that, feel how it's kind of rough and that, that black can come off on your hands. Yeah. So what you want to do is take your, your uh, just a, a sanding block or any kind of little sa hand sander and just go over that whole thing nice and easy. A little bit more pressure than that. You're not going to sand off that layout, trust me. You can push on that almost as hard as you want to. So keep going all over the whole thing. There you go. Mostly top and bottom, not on your image in the front, right in the, in the middle. Not bad. Okay, so now take your brush, your stiff bristle brush, and then brush that real good, brush the excess. Put some, put some pressure on it. You gotta get that stuff off of there. You don't want that stuff uh, causing your router base plate to stick. These are all the little things, guys, that make a difference between having a router base that slides nice and smooth and having one that sticks at the wrong spot and ends up costing you a, a letter or a straight line. All right, so now we need to draw lines top and bottom. So get your pencil out. So draw lines top and bottom of your letters. So you line it up at the top here and the top there. And understand, remembering, that your that your pencil um, is kind of a fat line. Remember, it was kind of not yeah. like, like right not on there. Nice and easy. There you go. That's good. Now the bottom. You're getting the hang of it. So now you got to turn your hand around the other way, right? Mm -hmm. That's down a little bit, I would say. That's not bad. It moved on you a little bit. I don't think that's going to be any big deal. You've got to get kind of used to holding that thing down. All right, the bottom line. You have a little bit more control on this one, right? Mm -hmm. So what we could have done, we could have swapped this around and had this closer to right. you. Remember, the closer things are to your core, the more control you're going to have. So up here, you were kind of a long ways away, made it kind of tough. So next time, remember, you could just swap that around. It doesn't matter if the right. lines are upside down okay. or not, right? Right. Excellent. Excellent. So now you've got it, nice straight lines, top mm -hmm. and bottom. When you go to carve these, you're going to carve these inset. And on that apostrophe, I'll help you with that. We'll just draw that apostrophe in there. Mm -hmm. So that'll be there. We'll remember. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to finish this up on a separate video sometime in the next couple weeks. But we got a lot of the prep done. And to be very honest with you, when you first start making signs, the layout is, is a lot of people tell me, that, and, and it was for me too, the layout's the most difficult part. Um, because if you don't get that right, you've got no chance to make a nice sign. So from a, from a um, you know, balance effect, how you want the sign to look, layout is super, super important. So um, good job, Eric. Did well. So we'll see you guys, uh, well, we'll see you on Monday, but... Um, we'll finish this up, maybe not next Friday, but within the next a few Fridays, we'll finish this up because we got something else going on next Friday. Yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Hope you guys all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday for Coffee and Questions. Bye. Bye. <laughs>